Okay, this is video two, continuing recovering from high peck. When were you able to walk again? Because of the pandemic and the shortage of help and no caregivers with me and all the tubes everywhere and containers, I was tethered to the bed and it was really difficult to get up. Um, PT came over and it took her about half an hour to get things organized and set up on the walker. And as soon as I made it to my room door, I had to run back to the commode. So we decided we'll just wait a few more days to try to walk again. So it was a while, I think it was day six, seven, around there when I was fully walking and able to walk on my own. Could you eat after surgery? No. I was only allowed to have a few ice chips and flavored Italian ices or ices for a while. I think that I didn't even try those until day three. And then slowly progressed to soft foods like pudding. And I desperately waited for them to say that I could have toast. And every time the guy would come in to take my food order, I would get really excited to see him and be like, can I have toast yet? Do you have pickle juice? And I'd ask him the same things every time. And he'd say, no, we don't have pickle juice. No, you can't have toast yet. You can only have this. And um, so, so yeah, I um, was told that I could only have liquid soft. And then they graduated me to mechanical soft, like mashed potatoes, butter, gravy, milk, things like that. And I think it was day six when I finally got toast and it tasted horrible. I was so disappointed. The only thing that actually tasted good to me was maple cream of wheat. And I can only eat a few bites at a time besides the cream of wheat. So throughout the day, I only ate like a total of one pudding cup, cream of wheat, a small carton of milk and an iced tea. And I usually would save the pudding cup for the middle of the night because I never really wanted to eat till like 2 a.m. And um, again, I really just wanted pickle juice. So once I got out of the hospital, the first thing I did was sip pickle juice. And my mom made me double noodle soup while I showered. And then I sipped some of the broth and ate a few noodles. And then I was totally full. I was surprised. I thought it was just being in the hospital and the hospital food, but it's just you, a, a lot of people can really only eat a few bites at a time and then you feel full. How much weight did you lose after surgery? It had been, it's been so long to me that I don't remember exactly, but I know that I put on extra weight on purpose and I lost 20 to 30 pounds uh, throughout the course of six months after surgery. How long did it take to bounce back? Now, just know that for most people, you're probably going to tire very easily. Like just doing the dishes could make you exhausted for the whole day. Just getting up and going to the bathroom could exhaust you. It's quite common. So don't be alarmed if you're really tired, but if you're concerned, make sure you reach out to your team. Um, so it took me almost exactly six months, which is what my surgeon predicted. And one day I woke up and was full of energy and I've been going ever since. Please make sure that you have a surgical oncologist that specializes in appendix cancer and high pec. You can find one using support groups, acpmp.org and pmppals.net is also a really good resource if you have questions, need support or just need guidance. And you're welcome to comment with any questions that you have. So um, as for me, um, I would do it again. I, I would do it again. I probably will have to do it again. And um, I know it's really scary and I know I, I can't possibly cover every question that everybody would have. So if you have any questions, just comment them or reach out to me and I'm happy to answer them. I'm not a doctor though. So some things you wanna talk to your doctor about. And um, Anyway, that's it. I guess I could have done this all in one video, but this made this one short. So anyway, have a good one. Bye.